created through Public Law 30-139, was established back in 2010 to recognize the master practitioners of Guam's traditional and folk arts. The award guarantees the continuity of our cultural traditions, leaving the children of Guam a vested legacy. Department of Chamorro Affairs President Joseph Cameron. It was a bill that was presented to the Guam legislature and unanimously voted on and signed into law. It's a great testimony that every four years, the Department of Chamorro Affairs Division of Haha will once again take nominations four years from now. So this is a, a great testimony to the perpetuation of the Chamorro people and most especially to the art and the crafts that we will pass down from generation to generation. On Tuesday, Kaha, Department of Chamorro Affairs, along with several dignitaries, made a presentation to Master Carver, Gregorio Pangalinen, Governor Eddie Baza Calvo. For you, it has been a, it has been really a work, but it's been a joy that you've been doing. It's been a really, uh, I don't, it, you wouldn't even call it work because you enjoy it so much. Yes. But the important thing is, that's why you're surprised. Because <laughs> the, what you think it is, is, um, something that comes from your heart and you enjoy, it really is a perpetuation of our culture. And I think you were all surprised because you thought you were just doing something that you want to do every day. <laughs> but in reality, what you're doing every day is continuing our culture. Within the last three weeks, Master Healer Wasafa Tenpai Sateza, Master Blacksmith Francisco Lazama, and Master of Dance Eileen Meno were presented the Guam Masters Award by Kaha. Senator Tina Munya Barnes, along with Speaker Judy Wan Patton, Vice Speaker BJ Cruz, were also on hand to present Pangalinen with the resolution. This resolution, uh, 626 31 LS, was signed by all the members of the 31st Guam Legislature, recognizing you, saying, relative to comm commending and congratulating Gregorio Pangalinen on being awarded the title of Master Carver by the Guam Council of Arts and Humanities Agencies. It talks about the history, how you got involved. It talks about your workmanship. It also talks about you gathering with, with Chief Corby uh, Lizama here, Uncle Frank Lizama, and all the, more importantly, it talks about how you continue to pass the tradition, yes. not just to your friends and your family, but also to the students. The presentation was made at the Harao Academy, located at the Chamorro Village. I, I'm really surprised of this, you know, I, I wasn't expecting anything, you know, like this, but, my God, I always, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. A self-taught carver, Pangolinen has mastered both traditional and contemporary styles of carving using various techniques and materials, including wood, bone, giant clamshell, to create stunning works of art, including an ancient Chamorro village carved entirely in bone. Throughout the years, his work has been showcased at many international cultural festivals and events. Pangolinen is a familiar face in the schools conducting presentations relevant to his work at the various schools and cultural activities on Guam. Pangolinen has conducted numerous apprenticeship programs under Kaha, sharing his skills and knowledge of carving with others. Thank you so very much, Joan. Remember, you can see all of Joan's installments in this series by going to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash KUAM